I've been dreaming of playing at the Sydney Opera House ever since I was a child. This beautiful, iconic sculpture of a building with its billowing sails. I've played in the concert hall before, but I wanted to return with sleep. It's such a personal project for me, and there's something very emotional in the architecture of this building. In Sydney, we played the piece, not in the main hall, but in the public rooms overlooking the harbour, so that you'd have this amazing view through the windows. I first started working on this piece in 1995, but it's only recently that the time felt right for it. When I play concerts, often my wife listens in via streaming. And since we're in different time zones, it's often the middle of the night. And we talked about this, the liminal state that she listens in. It's an incredibly creative space, this half wakefulness. And of course, it's also a lullaby, something soothing. Many of us live in a fast-paced digital world where we spend so much of our lives curating information. And it can, I think for many people, feel overwhelming. And perhaps the nights can offer us some kind of creative refuge. I talked to my friend David Eagleman, who's a neuroscientist and who's done some research in this area and to just check out what the sleeping mind goes through, what the processes are, and to see how these could connect in with musical processes. Sleep is a big set of variations. The whole piece is no tainted. It's very tightly controlled, but I wanted to build this sense of repose. I didn't fully understand when I wrote it what a privilege it would be to perform it for a sleeping audience. There was a most incredible storm that night. The wind and the rain was so loud as we were playing. Um, it felt like it was accompanying us through the night and kind of became part of the performance. Playing sleep is always something of a journey for me. It's physically very demanding. I mean, as a performer, you live in the notes, so focus isn't a problem, but it is a marathon, and you ache, and there's a lot going on. And in the morning, there's this sense of community with the audience. I always really like performing sleep, and I always really look forward to it, and to discovering the meeting point between the venue and the music. Every venue becomes part of the fingerprint of the piece. And I hope that in a small way it does this incredible building justice.